What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Ravens running back Derrick Henry in today's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Last I checked, the Bengals were up 38-35. But in this game, he needed just, uh, I believe, 18 rushing yards to become just the 32nd running back in NFL history to eclipse the 10,000 career rushing yard mark. And Travis Henry did just that in the second quarter of the AFC North showdown. With a one yard touchdown plunge in the first quarter, Henry also became only the fifth player in NFL history with at least 10,000 rushing yards and 100 total career touchdowns from scrimmage in his first 125 career games, joining Pro Football Hall of Famers Jim Brown, Emmett Smith, and LaDainian Tomlinson, as well as Adrian Peterson. Henry is the 27th player all-time to reach 100 career touchdowns. When asked about uh, this potential milestone on Friday, he said, quote, I'm always grateful for the journey and everyone that's been a part of it. I've been blessed tremendously. And I'm very thankful to be able to be able to play this long to be able to reach a milestone that big. All the great ones before me that I idolized, they achieved an accomplishment. So for me to be doing something that the ones that I've idolized have done is so cool. And I said it before, he needed just 18 rushing yards to reach the increasingly rare mark. Because as we know, running backs are not as integral in the NFL offensive schematics as they once were. The last player to top five figures in career rushing yards was Marshawn Lynch back in 2017. So, entering this week, Travis Henry is averaging 100 plus rushing yards and one rushing touchdown per game over his last 81 games which basically amounts to five seasons of legendary rushing production. That is tied with LaDainian Thomason for the second longest stretch a player has ever averaged 101. The only running back to ever maintain those averages for a longer time was all-time leading rusher Emmitt Smith, 95 games from 1991 to 1997. This is also the seventh straight season that, uh, that Derrick Henry uh, ranks top 10 in rushing yards. Five players since 1970 have had at least seven straight top 10 finishes. The legendary Barry Sanders, the legendary Evan Smith, the legendary Eric Dickerson, the legendary Walter Payton, and the great LaDainian Thomason. Henry finished second in the NFL in rushing last year, his fourth season with a top two finish. Only Jim Taylor, five, Eric Dickerson, five, Walter Payton, six, Barry Sanders, seven, and Jim Brown, eight, have more top two finishes. And also, Henry has six straight seasons with at least 10 rushing touchdowns entering this season, the third longest stretch in NBA his, uh, excuse me, NFL history behind Adrian Peterson and LaDamian Tomlinson. And... Uh, Henry is the 13th player in NFL history with 100 rushing, excuse me, with 10,000 rushing yards and 100 touchdowns. Of the 12 other players in this club, 10 are Hall of Famers. Nine are first ballot Hall of Famers, and two are not Hall of Fame eligible quite yet: Adrian Peterson and Frank Gore. Henry can become the ninth player in NFL history with three plus rushing titles, along with Jim Brown, Steve Van Buren, O.J. Simpson, Eric Dickerson, Mike uh, Emmett Smith. Barry Sanders, Earl Campbell, and Adrian Peterson. So this is a guy that's definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Will he be first ballot? I don't know. Uh, but he's definitely going to the Hall of Fame. And considering that this is something that's not being done frequently anymore, if I had to take a guess, I'd say he'd be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.